amazing Amanda Abrams. So let's just get this started. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about myself first, okay? Uh, I recently lost 50 pounds. Thank you. I just let go of my niece's hand at a target. Haven't seen that bitch since. It's really good. You do a lot of things whenever you're trying to lose weight, right? Like I went out and bought myself one of those Fitbits. So whenever I put it on, it gave me this muffin top. Very upsetting. I tried hiking. Ugh. Yeah, no, hiking, you're right. I can tell hiking is not for you, sir. I can tell. <laughs> Big old thumbs down. Okay. No, I was hiking and I was on a trail with my one friend. And on the trail, we saw this sign that said, no winter maintenance. And I thought to myself, man, I got to get that printed on a pair of gushies quick. <laughs> Just let everybody know, it is no shape November, 12 months out of the year down there. Just a really big hockey fan. It's a Penn's playoff beard. Start a little early. Start a little early. Right now, my vagina looks like Robin Williams from Jumanji. Uh, and Tom Hanks from Castaway had a baby, okay? I'm just going to start calling her Wilson, okay? It's just, it's just how it is. Uh, I've lost that weight, and now uh, my body's weird. Your body changes whenever you lose a lot of weight. Uh, the only way I can... The way I can describe my body is that of a uh, packet of mayonnaise that you find in the center console of your car. <laughs> right, hear me out, uh, follow along, right? It's oddly misshapen, <laughs> sticky for no apparent reason. <laughs> there are weird bits of hair all over it you don't understand. And fat people like to put me in their mouth until I squirt. So basically, <laughs> a packet of mayonnaise good. I can't say Miracle Whip because if there's a tangy zip, there is a problem, okay? <laughs> Cannot have that. Uh, it's really interesting, though, because now I can shop at the one store I've never been able to shop at before, the Goodwill. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to shop at Goodwill. Anyone else here shop at Goodwill? <laughs> yes. See, but I've learned something about Goodwill. There are two different types of Goodwill. Uh, there is the bougie Goodwill, which you guys all know, that is the one that has like coach bags with the tag on it. Because it doesn't match. Like it's got that at that bougie Goodwill, you know? Like everything purchased from Kohl's Cash with the tag still on. And then there's the other Goodwill, which is the Goodwill of my neighborhood. Which you're lucky if you can find a pair of mismatched socks put together that aren't crusty. <laughs> That's the Goodwill that I'm looking at. But what I like to do is go to the bougie Goodwill and steal things. <laughs> and then donate them at my poor city Goodwill. <laughs> That's right, I'm the Robin Hood of the discount rack. Take from the rich, give to the poor. <laughs> Thank you, it's a very socialist idea. I'm hoping it's gonna catch on soon. <laughs> the larger lady, like it's hard, cause like we, I think like whenever you're a bigger person, whenever you find something that you like to wear, like, and it's your item you got to buy in every single color. Two sizes up and then one size down just in case you make you get money or something. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to happen. Like, you wear things till there's, like, literal holes in them. The most heartbreak I've had is a bra literally poking me in the fucking chest. You know, you send all those holy clothes down, like, one of the three rivers in, like, a Viking funeral just shooting arrows <laughs> off into it. Playing the Clarks, probably. <laughs> uh, I'm persnickety about clothes. I like to make sure that everything matches. So not only do I like match like my shirt and my pants, I also match my bra and my panties. So right now my panties are um, stained and slightly too tight. <laughs> I also don't like certain fashion trends. Like one trend that I do not like, I cannot stand whatsoever, is ripped jeans. I hate ripped jeans. Pre-ripped jeans are the worst jeans ever created, and I don't care. I feel like somebody in this crowd's gonna murder me after that statement. It got real quiet, okay? It got real quiet. I didn't say that I voted for Dr. Ox, okay? I said I don't like jeans. No, I hate pre-ripped jeans, because look at me, okay? When I rip a pair of jeans, they don't rip all cute here at the knee. Right? Right, no. They don't, they blow out, blow out right here, right in this weird little fat patch in her thigh area. It looks like a pork roast trying to escape its binding, okay? And it's just screaming out, please don't cook me in that pictures recipe. I can't tell if my thighs are crying or brining. It's just salty and moist.
voice down there. And, no, it is not good. It is not good. Uh, I do, I do like to feel sexy though in my clothes. Everybody in this crowd like to feel sexy. Yeah, I like to feel sexy. In fact, I want to do one of those like sexy bedroom boudoir photo shoots. You know. I want to do one. You guys can take the sense of it if you want. It's totally cool. I want to do one where I'm wrapped in tin foil <laughs> and call it Illuminati. Another jean shred I don't like. I don't know, guys. All right, okay. I didn't vote for Master Auto either. You guys can. <laughs> Me a boost for that. I don't like mom jeans. I hate that mom jeans are coming back, okay? I hate it because mom jeans make me do math. And that math determines I'm technically old enough to be somebody's grandmother. <laughs> That's right. I know, I know, I know I'm age androgynous, okay? I have the face of a cabbage patch kid and a body of a bag of sauerkraut, okay? It is Polish and fermenting from the neck down. Enjoys the sausage from time to time, you know? Jeans out in the wild. 
Okay, what was it, Gabe's Ross Dress for Less? Your Aunt Dolores before a Stiller's game, you know? Like, that was the last time. So I'm like standing there in the gymnasium, just kind of bopping to myself, just like middle school. And <laughs> I'm there and I realize myself, I'm like, I've got to make up entirely new lyrics to this song. So I'm just there singing to myself, not looking like a psychopath in front of all these preteens. <laughs> just like, shorting up them apple bottom jeans, ibuprofen in her furs. Her son's playing Fortnite and learning how to curse. Shorty can't get low because she's got a $400 ER deductible and that is unethical in this economy. <laughs> your 20s are different than your 30s. Oh man, they are so different than your 30s. I'm deep into my 30s and it is weird because I remember in my 20s, like I party hard. Anybody else really partying hard in their 20s? Like I partied so hard, I didn't think Sunday existed, okay? I was a red piller, that red pill Adderall, all right? Like I like did two foot tall, two story tall beer bongs. I wrestled in both regular Jello and Jello chocolate pudding. Do you not wrestle in the pudding, okay? It will throw off your pH and it'll come out like a fudge pop. It is not good. <laughs> not good, no. I thought Sundays were only meant for devil's three ways. What I'm saying is, is that I'm qualified to be a Supreme Court justice. <laughs> and if you can't tell by this animated Funko Pop in front of you, yeah, my favorite band is still Fall Out Boy, okay? <laughs> But you can't listen to the music from your 20s now that you're in your 30s. It hits different. Man, were we in the same coven in high school? I have to ask. Okay. We are the weirdos, mister. All right. <sighs> no, you can't listen to that. Like, in 2005, their hit song, Sugar We're Going Down, came out. Everybody remember that song? Yeah. For those of you who don't know, it is sung at the speed of someone overdosing on Adderall with a mouthful of Xanax, okay? My favorite part of that song is this lyric. It goes, I just a notch in your bedpost, but you're just a line in a song. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, 20 year old man was like, people are going to write songs like that about me one day. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I'm in my mid-30s, I realize I was just a whole of some asshole's air mattress out in Karen, okay? <laughs>